today I'm going to share with you one important thing regarding to the DSC 260. And this is regarding to the change of the visa interview location. And this is when you sign in in the DSC 260 for the first time. So when you go and sign in the DSC 260, there are so many information you are going to get it. But the first thing is the getting started. In the getting started, when you sign in, let's say you are the diversity visa lottery winner, the V lottery winner. Uh, the first thing before you start the form is to acknowledge that you have read. Remember, you have to read all this uh, information because this one will be able to determine some of these one whether will be given the visas or not. Uh, then the biggest part is the interview location. Why is this the most important part? Because at the time you are doing the application, remember the application for the diversity visa lottery is in October, but until results are out in May, it's a long time. So you might be in one country, now in another country, or you want to do the interview in another country. So for instance, this person at the time of applying in the question number six and number seven of the DV lottery application, they ask you uh, the eligibility and where you are, the address where you are on the day of the application. So if you say this person said he was in Tanzania, so by default, the interview will be in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. But if the person says, uh, let's say the person was in the United States, it will be coming it, the uh, interview location would be on on the last part this one but let's say this person is in the um, let's say was in let's say saudi arabia but he, the interview wants to do in dar es salaam so by default the interview location will be here the saudi arabia interview location so you say no i want to change and then you go to select the interview where do you want to do the the interview uh so that is how it is but this person is currently still in tanzania so the interview location will be in tanzania this part is very very crucial because after filling this part going forward uh in order to change the interview location is very very complicated the process obviously you have to communicate with the kcc and sometimes they want to explain why are you changing whatever there are so many things it's not just a feature you can just go and edit quick so before you do anything, there are some people maybe they applied the developer they are in maybe in Accra, Ghana, or they're in Nairobi, Kenya. Right now they're in the United States, but you will not be able to do the interview in the US. So leave it in Kenya. But if you are going to do in the US or you applied, you are international. I mean, you are in your country. Let's say you are in uh, Somalia or you are in Nigeria. I mean, whatever country you are, and now you are in America. So you say no. Now I'm in the United States, and then you will select this one. Then you continue. But if you come back, this part will not be here anymore. It's very difficult, as I'm saying. So this person will continue to say is in Dar es Salaam and will continue to do the interview in Dar es Salaam. So this is the interview location. And sometimes uh, it will require you to contact the U.S. embassy of the particular country if you want to change the location. Sometimes they are very, very strict. Why are you changing the interview location? But on the first time here, when you are changing, no question asked, you can change the location. There are some of the countries, there are embassies, the US embassies in those countries don't do the immigrant visa interview. Like people in Uganda, there is no immigrant visa interview in Uganda. So by default, if you say you live in, let's say Kampala or Entebbe in Uganda, by default, the interview location will be in Nairobi, Kenya. So if you want to do Nairobi, the, it will be Nairobi, you want to do in Kigali or another whatever, you'll be able to change uh, so we say no, and you go to change here. So all the embassy they start with the, uh, the city. So it will be Doha, Qatar. So if you are in Qatar working right now, but you want to do the interview in Kenya, you will change the interview location. So that was just a quick video to show like one of the way of changing the interview, uh, the interview location. But you can also change once you are scheduled for the interview. Let's say you are scheduled for this particular date. If you are not able to go to that date, you can be also able to change the date of the interview when you are confirming or you are contacting the U.S. Embassy to change for the different date if you want to change the date. But on the date, you don't communicate with KCC. You communicate with the U.S. Embassy and confirming the interview 
with a particular embassy in your country. So that was a quick video just to show you uh, how important the interview location is in the DV lottery application when you are starting to feed the DST 260.